Good morning and welcome to day three. We are headed to Grand Turk. I can see the shore, so we aren't far, so we will be there any minute. I'm really excited because this is my first time going to Grand Turk and I really don't know what to expect, but I do know that they have beautiful water. So our plan is to go to Jack Shack, which is a restaurant that is on the island, and I really just want to take photos on this beach, so be sure to stay tuned so that you can see what I end up doing in Grand Turk. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Danielle and thank you for tuning in to today's vlog. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not and share my channel with a friend. Let's get into it. Too. Okay guys, so so far Grand Turk is beautiful. It's giving Amber Cove vibes. And you guys know Amber Cove is my favorite place because I love the way it looks and just the whole vibe once you get off the ship. But this is very similar, which I'm sure you guys will see because we're going to Amber Cove tomorrow. But look what's behind me. Celebration ship. So um, we're just about to get off and just go over here to um, the little port area and just see what there is to do. Probably take a lot of cute pictures, but it's Grand Park, baby. Don't forget to get photos here in front of the ship. They make for some of the most beautiful photos available. While walking around the port, I ran into Parkers on the go, and we decided to go down to Jack Shack, which is at the edge of the island. Who do we run into once we got down there? Oh, oh, she got five drinks up on us, apparently. <laughs> you wonder what Jack Shack is like down in Grand Park. You just walk from the port down there all the way down the shoreline, which is a nice little walk, just heavy. And you get down here to this beautiful water. As you can see here, the squad is here. We have Sea with Sea, we have Sea Cruiser, Parker's on the go, and everyone is down here at Deck Shack. This was one of my favorite moments of the cruise because this was my first time meeting C and Parkers on the go and I really felt like I knew them after we sat down and ate together and had conversation and everything just flowed so freely and was such a good time that I didn't even record. So there's no content, but it was a good time. <laughs> Eating, it was time for fun on the beach. But it does matter. All right guys, so I have a chance to test out my Pivo, which is the item that moves and tracks with you. So as you guys can see, my phone is spinning with me, so I can capture all my solo content without having to have anybody to hold the phone for me. So it goes all the way around 360 motion, and I'm able to completely move with it, move back, 
and it's tracking me. most beautiful water I have ever seen in that it was clear and just a crisp blue. Everything was so serene and felt perfect. It just was a great day. We all decided to just stand in the water and drink and talk and Sig was hilarious. She had a flotation device and kept getting blown over because the waves were like so strong but it was hilarious. Look at Parker's on the go video for more detail. we were joined by Fane and Laura from Travel Spree and Vanessa from Vacation Vibes. I don't know how but Fane and Sid Cruiser decided to do a cartwheel contest and I don't really know who won officially but Sig seemed to give a celebratory speech so maybe it was her. Here's more on that. one of my favorite cruise days ever. Everyone featured here was such a good time and just made the day so special. All right, right Grand Turk, we are headed out and need I say, I have found a new favorite port. I love Grand Turk. I love the access to the beach, the views of the water. It was just a good time. The water would felt perfect. Everything was just smooth and easy to get to. And Jack Shack was good too. So, Grand Turk, you are my new favorite port. All right, so I am definitely exhausted after Grand Turk. That was so much fun. But um, I didn't realize my dinner re reservation for Hibachi tonight is at 530. So I pretty much had a little bit of time to get a shower, lay down for a second, not go to sleep, um, but got up. But tonight is white night and I am wearing my outfit from J Lux label. Um, so the good thing is that Hibachi is only a couple floors away. So we just have to go down one to eight. So that is the move for the night. And we'll check back in from Bonsai. This was my third time trying hibachi on the ship and this is one of my favorite places to eat. It's always good and the portion size is so big. The great thing about this is that they automatically bring you all of the starters including the soup, salad, the spicy tuna, the pork thingy, everything automatically comes and the only option that you really have to choose is if you want a combo of two meats or if you want one meat for your main entree. Bunzai is always a party and a good time and you can look forward to the onion volcano and all of the other little tricks including the egg throw in the hat that you see at every hibachi restaurant. 
dessert was this chocolate bento box that had all of these options that included green tea ice cream, cream brulee, and a chocolate strawberry. You guys will learn that one of my least favorite things about this cruise was trying to see the circus show. You apparently had to get here an hour to two hours before just to get a seat. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next time for a special two-part series on my Thanksgiving in Amber Cove.